Hi fellows, today I will show you that uh, how effective T spine symmetry could be uh, when making a TS micro prong or a micro puppet head. So, uh, this is a head of micro prong setting built in TS T spines having radial symmetry. I am going to show you that uh, how to adjust uh, the number of segments and sizes in T spines using symmetry. So let's see. First, we will get a single segment from the existing head. We have to disable symmetry. Select it, disable. Now we will extract uh, only a single segment. Uh, we can select a loop just unveil it unveil it. taking time ok this is the only one thing that's going to happen unveil it <coughs> now we have got uh, the single segment we have to delete all but this segment hide other chains now now just imagine that uh, we needed a 1.5 stone instead of existing this one 1 1.2 mm stone and uh, having the same diameter of the head uh, so we'll put a reference diameter to remain in the same diameter now we will scale 3d it from 1.2 to 1.5 and our scale factor should be 1.5 so this is our scale factor <coughs> transform 3d scale 3d origin f4 and scale factor should go here now we can check it what is the size of this stone 1.5 mm so we have got a 1.5 mm stone to be adjusted in this diameter so we should now constrain it to the diameter so we will put it back in it's back now we have to examine that how much stones should adjust in this diameter 1.5 stone so we just uh, check it by arrow polar f4 uh, segments uh, let's see 16 no it should be less f4 15 i think it's fine so we have to adjust it within 15 segments now we should uh, have a reference line to align this line to have a smooth symmetry so put a line if uh, we needed uh, half of it so we should add a polar it to 30 now we have these three lines for the reference we can delete the rest of the lines here we go I should save it <coughs> now you can see that uh, the edge is not aligned according to this line and uh, to have a smooth surface uh, this 
border has to be aligned according to this line okay here I am going to use uh, bend command to have a smooth transition all over here and I'll pick the point closest to the line so this mm -hmm. should be the more accurate line Another matter, and here I can uh, uh, have an axial symmetry. We can delete our half segment, select faces, delete it, and as the whole line is aligned, we can put an axial symmetry. Symmetry, select the object, axial and the start and end we we should tell the axis to it now we have got an axial symmetry okay to align this edge go and scroll mode rotate it Rotate F4 from here to here. We can pick an edge, outer edge, outer edge. We may now we may run <coughs> set point and add the x axis okay hit f4 now we've got a smooth end as well as we have uh, put in the actual symmetry the other border should also be aligned according to this line now we'll get back it to its actual position rotate rotate f4 from here to here and put the actual uh, sorry radial symmetry symmetry to it radial <coughs> and uh, we know that we have to put uh, 15 segments 15 segments center of rotation f4 and uh, two ways to uh, put an angle or first reference point uh, we can calculate uh, 360 divided by 15 segment and uh, the result will be 24 we can put here 24 degree angle or we can just pick from here to here takes time and now you have got a 15 segment t spline micro prong head have a look and we can see there is no kink or a crease everything is quite smooth and because it is uh, having two symmetries axial symmetry as well as radial symmetry so the, the power of symmetry will be shown here in face mode we can pick these two faces three four faces to thicken the prong better we do it in face or wall here it is Again, once we thicken the single form, we can see the whole transition is updated. So, having a smooth, we've got a 15 segment this one microphone. Uh, so, applying these symmetry rules, we can have some interesting heads like this split form and the shared forms. So, Enjoy. Bye-bye.